Bit of one, check all the dirt here for another video review. This time we have uh, the Japanese Kit Kat banana. Um, you know, as I say banana, there it is, banana. <laughs> I think it's white chocolate and banana, really. Um, so this is the Japanese Kit Kat. I've had to import this using eBay or Amazon or something like that. And um, yeah, basically, it's uh, in Japan they have lots of um, wacky flavours for Kit Kats, really. And they come in a sort of a half size bar. So Kit Kats, for those of you who don't know, is um, basically a chocolate covered wafer bar in two fingers. Um, so basically, you get two of these. Um, and usually about, say, 10 centimetres long or something like that. So, well, not 10 centimetres, actually, maybe about eight or something like that. It's usually about, say, that long or something. Well, basically, the. Um, the Japanese Kit Kats are half that, again, for whatever reason, so they're in mini snack size form. Um, so that's what these are, basically. And normally they, you can buy them separately, I think, or in, you know, you can buy them in boxes or whatever, in, um, you know, um, multiples or whatever. But I think normally you get them separately, but this one's obviously a bag's worth. And uh, it says Easter break on it, so presumably these were an Easter limited edition. I'm not sure why banana for Easter, but um, maybe that's something in Japan, I don't know. So you can see, uh, basically, it's got all the, the eggs on and... Um, on the back of these bunnies and things like this. <laughs> Still, I don't know if they're doing a carrot flavored one, then maybe I'd understand. But and I wouldn't put it past them because they do lots of. Um, they've done a wasabi flavor. They've done I don't know cheesecake flavors. They've done sake flavors. Um, so many different flavors, and they're all and they taste really nice. The sake, the wasabi ones. I reviewed that actually a while ago, and it's um, bizarrely tastes spicy, even though there's no spice to it. It's very clever. Um, Yes, yeah, so thank you for James in the comments for recommending these. I'd not, I didn't know they were about really. We were talking about banana flavored chocolate, and randomly, it just doesn't seem to exist very often. Really, I think Cadbury did one three or four years ago, um, but you rarely see banana flavored chocolate. Um, I've got one to review actually, um, a Nor bar from Norfolk. <laughs> um, I've had it for ages actually. I need to review it really. I think I've had it. Well, I don't know how long I've had it, but I need to get it reviewed. Anyway, so here we go. So there we are. So there's a number of these in here. I don't know how many there is. I might say somewhere. Um, but basically, uh, for each one, it's quite straightforward, really. I might say on the front. There's 64 calories in each one. 64 calories, um, 0.42 grams of fat, I think. In fact, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't really know, actually. I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> I thought it usually comes fat and insaturates, but... Um, Thinking there, but it's actually quite difficult for me to tell really because I thought it's the saturated one will be higher than the fats, and uh, it seems too high fat as well. So I'm not sure about that. It could be 3.6 grams of fat, maybe that's right. That sounds probably about right, but it didn't say the saturates, I don't think. Yeah, not sure. Anyway, 64 calories, we'll go with that, that's for sure. Yeah, so it's got like a um, Nice artwork here. I don't know what this is really, but it looks, it looks nice. <laughs> it says Kit Kat chocolate, chocolatory or something. Chocolatory. It's obviously their factory, I guess. The Kit Kat chocolatory. And you can have it as a website as well. Uh, www.chocolatory.nestle.jp. So maybe that'll give more information. It's got the usual stuff. Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is. See, we've got the uh, the cocoa plan as well for Nestle on there as well, and the UTZ stuff. So there we are. Okay, so um, we don't get any real English description. Just just have a break, have a Kit Kat. So I think uh, let's give it an open. See what we are in here. Okay. Oh, so it's quite a lot. So you can see they're very small. Now these have come through the post to me, um, so hopefully they're still not melted. They don't feel like they've been melted. Let's see what we are. So there's a gold one here. Um, all the others sort of, I don't know what that means really, have I won something? <laughs> I don't know. Um, on the front there is a, there's a gold one and a green one. So maybe you just get one gold one, I don't know really, we'll have a look. Yeah, very interesting. So all well, those are green but there's a gold one. Um, yeah, so hopefully if I have won something I'll never know will I because <laughs> it's all in Japanese so. Let's see how many there are. It's not bad, so there's, a, there's 12 of them in total. Yeah, so there's 10 there and one extra here and obviously the gold one. It's probably exactly the same really. The gold one I imagine, but it's just different artwork. But they are slightly different actually, they've all got slightly different artworks on them. Little rabbits in eggs by the looks of it. So we've got a purple top hat, this one's in pink. With no top hat and folded ears with a chick on top of one of them. <laughs> so they're all quite cute really. Um, 
But this one's quite cute. You've got little just ribbons, bow ties, bows on her ears like that. That's quite nice. <laughs> I'm not sure what's on the other one. I can't tell. Some just patterns on the other one. Yeah, it's quite interesting, really. It just says Kit Kat, I think. Um, a little bow on there with a little chick on it as well. Kit Kat as well. So quite nice. Another the gold one. Just sort of seems to be a bit more, I don't know, <laughs> like a game show host or something. I'm not sure, really. Um, but there we are. And you'll have these sort of like little patterns on the back for a little message. I don't quite know what that's about, but they've always had that, all the other ones I've done. So I'm not sure what that's about, but it's quite an interesting thing. And then you also have a break, have a Kit Kat. There's some blurb on it. Okay, so let's uh, take all the way bar two. Let's see what the... Uh... Okay, so there's quite a big flourish here. You'll see, you know, you can see it clearly. Flourish is quite a lot, so... Um... Let's see, so with that, there's, it's 8.5 centimetres. So you're going to lose about probably half of that. <laughs> let's give it an open, let's have a see. Okay, a bit damaged, so obviously it has come through the post. There's a chance that's what happened. It's a hot day as well here today, so you can see that's basically what it looks like. White chocolate. It smells very banana like. It smells like a banana milkshake, actually. That's what it smells like, which is still very nice. Um, let's see what the measurement is. So it was 8.4, now it's 5.1 basically. <laughs> so we've lost a lot. Um, so there we go. So yeah, so you can see it's uh, two fingers. It says Kit Kat on both. A lot of the English ones now they say hashtag my break, I think, is one of the one of the fingers, but not in this case. There you go, so snap it in half. So you see two fingers. And the width of each finger, well, not very accurate this one because if so not split very well, but it's about 1.7 or something like that. So just going to snap one in half a bit. So you can see it still has the milk chocolate in the middle. Um, so there we go. So sometimes these ones, basically it's either the wafer's been flavoured or the uh, or the chocolate itself. In this case, obviously the chocolate. So there we go. So it smells very nice, as I say. Um, so there we go. Well, let's have a look at what the gold one is, see if that's any different whatsoever. Probably just exactly the same. <laughs> And uh, it looks to be. Smells the same. It's in the middle. Yeah, just different wrapping, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it just to check that I've not worn something or there's some code on it or something like that. But uh, there we go. Okay, well, I think um, let's have a look. Let's put me over here so you can see me now. I'll give it a taste. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so let's give it a go. I mean, it looks uh, quite a standard kick out affair, you'd say, really, wouldn't you? So you can see there, quite a good cross section there, actually. Don't normally get a section like that, but it's taken the um, so when I split it in half, because here it took half of the uh, chocolate off that way, so yeah, so you can see wafer there with milk chocolate in between, and then the sort of banana white chocolate on the other side. So let's uh, give it a taste. Mm. Well, mm. definitely think it will be better refrigerated this one. And just because it's purely tastes like a, um, a milkshake, and I think because because it's not refrigerated, it tastes a bit like a, a warm milkshake, so that's not a great flavour. <laughs> um, mm. It's okay. It's all right. The white chocolate's um, mm. it's not really massively white chocolate flavoured. You really just get sort of, it's a bit powdery, the chocolate. It's not overly powdery, but it's a bit powdery. Um, obviously, the wafer's nice. And you can taste the, um, you can't really taste the milk chocolate, but you mainly just taste the sort of banana flavour. And it's, it's a bit of a powdery white chocolate, really. Uh, mm. It's okay. I think it really needs to be refrigerated, I think, to get the most out of this one. Um, because I think it just... Let's say it's a, it's a banana milkshake, basically, is the flavouring. And um, obviously that you expect that to be cold, and it does taste like that. So, of course, as you say, if you imagine a really warm milkshake, it wouldn't be that great. So I think these need to be these need to be refrigerated, I think, to get the proper taste out and to make them taste right. Um, but as it stands the way it is at the moment, I think they're quite nice, actually. I think they're quite nice. I think, obviously, you know, notwithstanding the uh, warm milkshake flavour. Hmm. <laughs> uh, the white chocolate's not bad at all. It doesn't catch any throat. It's not a sickly white chocolate, which a lot of them are. Um, again, assuming it is white chocolate. <laughs> not sort of this 
you know, Karamak type. Um, but yeah, it's nice. And I've easily gone through all that very quickly. Um, hmm. I like it. I think, um, as I say, with it being refrigerated, I think it would be a lot nice. I think a good four out of five. It does taste relatively banana-y, but it's not a massive... It's an okay banana taste. It's, it's a fake banana taste, really. I think other banana chocolates I've had previously, rare as they are, um, have been nicer. Um, so it's been okay. It's all right. I think a three out of five for me, really. A bit disappointed. I expected better from it. It's, um, it's not as tasty as I thought. Banana chocolate should be really nice, and I think banana does lend itself really well to chocolate, and for some reason it's just never really used. Maybe the synthetic flavour is a bit hard to achieve, I'm not sure. Um, but, um, and this is possibly a bit of evidence of that, but I'm sure I've had better ones in the past. So, yeah, so not too bad really, as I say, but refrigeration is the way forward for this. Um, you do get quite a lot in the pack as well, 12 of them in the pack, but it's quite expensive to get these, so you're probably talking about a pound, a pound of bar really, and they're quite small, so they are half, half the size of regular Kit Kats. As you can see, so and only two fingered ones as well. <clears throat> but yeah, not bad, not bad. I think is the consensus there. Um, three out of five. But with refrigeration, I reckon that would be easily be a four out of five. But the banana taste is not the best. It smells nice though. Um, wafer's nice and crunchy. Typical Kit Kat affair. Um, yeah, just obviously they are a bit small as well. But nothing wrong with that really. But um, you perhaps want you know, a bigger one generally. But as I say, you do get a few of this. So as a novelty, they're quite nice. <laughs> so there we go. Right guys, so we enjoyed our review. Yeah, follow me to subscribe, like my videos. Thanks again to James for recommending those to me. And I'll uh, see you next time. Oh, I'm, on, I'm on Instagram as well, so yes, get in touch there. I try and post photos. I always forget. Luckily, I took all the photos today, so I'm going to post them up in um, uh, in preparation for, uh, for getting these videos sorted. So yeah, <laughs> I've remembered for once. <laughs> okay guys, take care. See you later. Bye for now. <laughs> see ya.